Many a sailor, no matter how brave and fearless, knows well how unpredictable and deadly the sea can be. Before every setting of the sails, a prayer goes throughout the crew, praying to God for the safety of their voyage. A wise man knows that prayers are not always answered, and many men have traveled to the briny depths of the sea, never to be seen again. Some men say, though, that they have managed to cheat death in those moments with a ritual that may not be worth living for later. The ritual is fairly simple, but not one that you want to lose unless you are in mortal peril and know it. Providing that they're not sinking fast enough for the water to choke their words, a man must repeat the words, Devil take my soul across the sticks. God has abandoned me three times at the top of his lungs. If he truly puts himself and his soul into it, the ferryman will come. No matter how much the waves rage and toss, the ship sail shall not be turned, nor shall he capsize. The man shall feel his wrist grabbed and pulled into the boat, from where he will not feel the waves rocking him. He will feel no hunger, no thirst, only the breath in his lungs, and the wind will blow softly across his wet face. It is important that the man does not look up into his eyes. This is because calling him out is a trick. You see, the ferryman will not take a soul across sticks without payment. He will hear him speak, asking for payment. When he asks, he must proclaim that he is without payment and needs to get it from home. The ferryman will begin to row the sailor home shore. He cannot look at him the entire way. If it takes three days and three nights, it will not matter. This is because if ferryman looks into your eyes, he will know if you're lying and return you down to the waters to drown. When you finally reach shore, the sailor must thank him and tell him he will return shortly. The sailor can never return to the sea after this. The ferryman will never come back to the shore to collect. Only be there by the water, waiting for his payment. If a sailor ever does set foot on boat again, he and all the men shall perish in a violent and destructive manner. Be warned though, one cannot outrun the ferryman forever. I know a man who is in his last years and fears closing his eyes at night, lest he pass from the world and his soul meet ferryman once more. He feels the grip around his wrist tighter and tighter at night with each dream when he finally falls into sleep, and sees a monstrous face looking at him enraged that he did not hold up his end of the bargain. No one truly cheats ferryman. He is simply far more patient than most realize.